I read the problem for you. In testing a certain kind of truck tire over rug terrain, it is found that 25% of the truck failed to complete the test run without blowout. So the probability of getting failed is 0.25. If total number of trucks tested are 15, find the probability in the first part as from 3 to 6 have blowout before completing the test run. In the second part, probability less than 4 blown out. In the third part, C, B, A. Probability that more than 5 have blown out. So the first step here is to convert into the cumulative probabilities which will be easy to see from the table. It will be probability of getting x less than or equal to 6 minus probability of getting x less than or equal to 2. It will be 2 not 3 because 3 is inclusive here. So that is Summation x equal to 0 to 6, b x colon 15 comma 0.25 minus summation x equal to 0 to 2, b x colon 15 comma 0.25. Now these two values we can see from the from binomial distribution tables for n equal to 15. Now in the second part what it will be over the distribution if you have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. So now in this case if I have to find out the probability for less than 4 so less than 4 is nothing but the summation up to 3. So that is probability of x less than or equal to 3 which I may write as summation x equal to 0 to 3 b x colon 15 comma 0.25. Third part probabilities of is 5 more than, sorry, for five, more than 5. So more than 5, so it will be 1 minus, so 5 will be included over here. So total minus up to 5 will be more than 5. So it will be 1 minus probability of getting x less than or equal to 5. That I may write as 1 minus summation x equal to 0 to 5 b x colon 15 comma 0.25. So that is now these values we will have to see from the table of binomial distribution for x6, 2, 3, 5. We can see. For 2, the value is 0 0.0271. For 3, 0.905. For 5, 0.4032. And for 6, 0 0.6098. So now, so that will give us a probability that 7, 2, 8, 5. So this is the probability of getting 3 to 6 blowout. What about this? This will be 1 minus up to. So that will be 8, 9 minus 3 will be 6, 9 minus 0 is 9. 
i minus 4 is that is the probability over here so now this way we can get the answer for this problem so now two examples i have explained in detail and i have also explained how to pick up the values for the cumulative probability based on binomial distribution for the binomial distribution you can pick up the cumulative probabilities for a random variable and these probability values which you pick up from the table can be used to solve different problems thank you very much